Three of the six people were critically hurt when the cab crashed early this afternoon. It happened at Broadway and 29th. Now that area was crowded at the time. Many of those who saw the horrific accident rushed in to help. And they saved a life. I would News reporter Josh Eider live at the scene in Midtown with our lead story. Josh. And Bill, I don't know if you can see over my shoulder, but Mayor Adams right now is addressing the press, including one of our cameras talking about traffic safety. He said at least one of the victims of this was actually visiting from out of state when this cab barreled out of nowhere and changed so many lives. In the past hour, police pulled the mangled cab off the sidewalk after cataloging the grisly and bloody aftermath when a glorious holiday afternoon became, in mere seconds, a scene of carnage and panic. Honestly, the uh, gruesomest thing you've ever seen. Yeah, um, it's really bad. Police say it started when this yellow cab attempted a left turn onto Broadway from 29th Street and collided with the man on this city bike who was heading down Broadway. I yelled, my colleague yelled, everybody yelled, stop. But the uh, the cab kept going and the cyclist's wheel got caught in the cab's rear wheel and pulled the cyclist under the cab. Harris Salat was having coffee a few steps away. This is his bike, which had been chained to a post at the curb. The cab just kept going and it rammed into a group of pedestrians who were walking on Broadway uh, and, and pinned them under the, under the cab. As this occurs, a remarkable scene took place. About 15 to 20 New Yorkers attempted to pick this cab off these women. The video obtained by Eyewitness News shows the remarkable scene as random New Yorkers came together to free the women pinned beneath. They were grievously injured, and the trendy nomad district quickly became a makeshift triage as good Samaritans tried to keep the victims alive. I mean, it was shocking and, you know, traumatizing. Quickly, you're just kind of shaking and reacting, and we were getting ice and... Uh, taking like aprons out. We got a yeah, belt off of somebody to provide a tourniquet. So yeah. we just like, you know, dive in and help. I've never seen anything like that. So it was very shocking. Um, and, you know, you just feel for the people around you and like just try to, yeah, just thankful to not be out on the street during that moment because it was very, very traumatizing. Two minutes later, we would have just hung up. It would have been us. It was a horrifying situation for lots of people here on the street earlier this afternoon. The latest count, there were six people hospitalized, three of them in critical condition, two others with less serious injuries, and then the driver, who was not injured really at all, but was uh, hospitalized for observation. Police do not believe there were drugs or alcohol involved, and police do say they believe he had a green light and was attempting a legal turn, uh, although the investigation still has a long way to go. Uh, but it does appear right now that the cabbie at, was not necessarily at fault in the original accident with a bicycle.